It's not much to look at now, just a muddy field and a few waterlogged holes. But what began as a simple dig of some Iron Age roundhouses has uncovered a significant Roman burial site. Archaeologists have found 56 graves spanning four centuries. But perhaps the most unusual is this one with stone slabs arranged to make a tent above it for the burial of an elderly woman. The form of this grave took time and energy to create that. And that is what is reflecting her importance and status. She doesn't look like she's done a lot of jolly hard work that the lower echelons might have done. The dig has been the perfect opportunity for pupils who will soon be at the primary school being built on this site in Somerton to step back in time and get in touch with the past with a little help from the archaeology team. The site of their school isn't a new site. The children have lived there for thousands of years. They've been educated there in the past and it gives them a real sense of place, a sense of belonging to that site. It's kind of the ultimate history lesson, isn't it? It is, and the his they don't need to go anywhere. The history is right there underneath their feet. So far, 13,500 objects have been catalogued, but it's not these delicate but apparently everyday brooches that excite finds manager Rachel. It's what the chicken wing found inside this locally made pot and the remnants of a new pair of boots tell us about how Britons adopted Roman customs. Well, here we have a set of hobnails from a pair of leather boots worn by one of the individuals buried in the graves. The people living there were fully integrated into the Roman world. Hobnail boots don't appear in the British Iron Age. They are something that came along following the fashions of the Roman army and the officials from the empire. Some of these artefacts will eventually be given to the new school, turning history into a uniquely hands-on experience. Martha Fairley, News at 10.